One more person to see before I go. My friend Kirk Harnack from This Week in Radio Tech is actually here doing a live stream right now from Broadcast Bionics. I just missed it. They just wrapped on their This Week in Radio Tech show, which if you're anything related to radio, you guys should check it out. It's a really great show, really informative, and the best guests. And I'm I'm biased because the best guests are on like me. I've been on I've been on Kirk's show. Hey, Kirk, how you doing? I'm doing great. Thank you for being on the show, George, today on this week in Radio Tech. Uh, and it was so it easy for it, me. Yeah. It worked out. It did. It did. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. great, man. How I, I, was the show? The the show went very well. Having you pre-record an interview, though. Honestly, it gave me a much-needed break. I was about to have a heart attack, and you sa- so you saved my life today, really. <laughs> Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? Everybody wants to see what Kirk just did that I yeah. missed to go to. So if you want to see the show, uh, it's called This Week in Radio Tech, or TWERT, This Week in Radio Tech. The website, thisweekinradiotech.com. There's a YouTube channel with that name. There's a Facebook page with that name, This Week in Radio Tech. We've been doing the show for about 15 years. Today was episode 692. George has been on the show three times before, and he was on today for a cameo appearance, a pre-recorded interview. So we all learned from George. We learned from all the engineers and people who show up on the show. Hey, even had the CEO of my employer, Telos Alliance, on the show today. So that's always an honor to have him on. So. Give him a little teaser. What's one thing that uh, was a, what was one of the topics you touched on today? Well, we talked to an engineer from San Diego. He's originally from Trinidad. And he was talking about some of the challenges uh, in the radio business. Uh, his name is Darnell Ford. And Darnell was on talking about his day-to-day challenges, the things he needs to learn uh, engineering-wise and IT-wise, the things that he has learned and how he's applied that into his job at Salem Radio in San Diego. Uh, also had Bob Stroop. I've known Bob forever, but Bob is a regional director of engineering for iHeart Media in South Texas. Takes care of Houston and Beaumont, Texas. Maybe you've heard of iHeart Media. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe you've heard of it. Yeah, exactly. Um, so it's good to have Bob on the show, and really, you know, getting people's impressions of. You know what they're seeing here at the NAB show. What are their challenges day to day? What kind of problems are they solving? We talked about HD radio as well. Uh, that's kind of come a long way, and the manufacturers are making it easier and easier to put HD radio on the air. Uh, really, a lot of that is to compete with the Spotify's, yeah. Sirius XM, things sure. like that, so that you get artwork on your dashboard, you get title and artist, and you get a digital sound. Uh, through your speakers and your car. I'm grateful so. that I have a 2015 Subaru and it has HD radio. Okay, and there I, you go. I, and I really enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. It works the, really more well. More and more cars are, are coming with, with HD, so yeah. that's kind of cool. We also cool. had Frank Martin on. He was talking about Franken FMs. These are Channel 6 TV stations. They're not transmitting any video. They're using the audio area of the old Channel 6 analog. Whoa. To transmit FM, they're at the very low end of the FM dial, 87.7, and they're called Franken FMs. The FCC, on a one-time basis, licensed a bunch of them. Not sure there's going to be any more, but it just it adds a little more competition and flavor to the FM dial in many <laughs> cities, including here in Las Vegas. No kidding, man. Thanks for the wrap-up. Yeah. We'll make sure everybody sees that. And it was great to see you at the show. Good to see you, too. Thanks, Thanks for your help, George. Yeah, take it easy. Thanks.